hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Christina Sullivan and I am a online fitness and business coach just trying to help people transform their lives into their best self help people emerge from the ashes of their life and help them really blossom into the person that they are meant to be and have all the potential in the world to be. So today is Friday. I usually don't vlog on the weekends because I just like to be in the moment on the weekends. The weekends are my days off and so I take that very seriously. I work very, very hard during the week but I play very, very hard on the weekend and these are gonna, these are annoying me. <laughs> so I have to go and make them even. And it is um, March 8th and I still have my pumpkin so actually I'm throwing those and I need to get some springtime ones. But so really quickly, I'm going to give you a little like lowdown on what this vlog is going to be. I'm going to show you my whole weekend, which I never do. All of the eating out that we do, the drinking, the wine, the cheese, the fancy shit. It's going to get real and you're going to love it. I can't wait. It's Brian's birthday on Sunday and it is Friday and tonight we are just playing it super low key because Saturday is play time. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I had a keratin treatment done to my hair and I have to leave the product in for 48 hours. So it's very smooth and soft and straight but it just feels kind of like greasy because I do have product just like hanging out in my hair. Um, so since we are going you know big on saturday that's going to be the night that we go out um we're gonna just keep it easy and low-key tonight probably going to our favorite thai restaurant which you've seen on my channel before eat thai in delray beach um and then saturday we are gonna go to a wine bar and we're gonna go out to a really nice dinner so i'm gonna show you all of that and i really my goal with this video is to show you how i can enjoy myself on the weekend but but what I do to prepare for those meals at dinner time and I just want to show you how I don't have that all or nothing mentality you know um, I just live in balance so my day so far is 145 so I just want to catch you up to speed because I do want to show you throughout the whole entire weekend what I'm eating and when I'm eating it and why I'm eating it because I will be eating in excess amount of calories later on this weekend so um, I don't want this vlog to be too long but I am gonna try to record Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I'm not gonna talk a lot. So today I did a workout. I hit back at a workout class called Drip Fit in Boca, and that was at 7.30. I came home, I cleaned and stuff. I cleaned the litter box, and I just like did some shit, and I ate breakfast around like 9.30, 10 o'clock-ish, I don't really remember, but it was a big ass breakfast. It was a big bowl of just like leftovers that were in my fridge. It's Friday, so right now I'm just getting shit out of my fridge. It was a bunch of Japanese sweet potatoes, um, shredded Brussels sprouts, mushrooms and egg whites. I kept it fat free for that meal because it was post-workout and so now it's my lunch and I'm gonna hike up the fat in this meal and have lower carb. We are gonna go out to dinner tonight to our Thai restaurant and he's really good about not putting too much oil and stuff into the way that he prepares our food at least because he knows that I like to keep it pretty healthy and as low calorie as possible so it doesn't get out of control because oil and all that kind of stuff it it's easy especially you know at Thai restaurants um, just like the oil the butter if they use any butter but like coconut milk that kind of thing salmon steak whatever you get if you get a stir fry or whatever um you don't realize it but the calories get pretty up there from the fat so i will have a little bit of fat in this meal because i know the restaurant that i'm going to he keeps it low fat for me so my carbs are going to be higher at dinner time because i'm probably going to get rice or pad thai and have a bunch of vegetables like brussels sprouts which are higher in carbohydrates anyway so my meal right now, this is not a normal meal for me. Before I show you, I have to say that because this is not normal. This is not normal. Um, I've never eaten this little carbs before in a meal in my whole entire life, I don't think. <laughs> well, that's not true. When I was restricting, I did. Um, so before you look at this and think like, oh my God, this is how she eats, It's this is not a good representation of my normal lunch, but I also am trying to get stuff out of my fridge as well, so keep that in mind as well. So I'm gonna set this camera down because my arms are tired. So my lunch, 
I have, I made some avocado toast, but instead of the toast, I was gonna put it on a rice cake, but I have these really big, beautiful bell peppers that are like, they're going bad. They're like starting to get a little bit wrinkly. So I was like, fuck. I need to use these bell peppers. And one whole bell pepper is probably around eight to 10, depending on how big the bell pepper is, carbs anyway. So I'm actually getting the amount, the same amount of carbs that I would um, from a rice cake in my bell pepper. So um, I'll show you the meal in a second. Um, but instead of the toast or the rice cake, I actually put my little avocado mixture in a bell pepper and I just um, all I did was I mashed one half of an avocado one full half of an avocado with lemon juice salt pepper topped it with tomato and a uh, real fat full fat feta cheese and the feta that I get is um, goat's milk feta it's just it it's, it digests better in your system in your stomach um, and then in my other bell pepper half I have this egg white salad from Trader Joe's I do prefer to make my own because this is a little bland, but I bought it and I need to use it up. Um, I should have eaten it like two days ago, I think it said, but it's fine. And what I do, it is kind of bland if you get it from Trader Joe's. So I sprinkle some salt, some pepper, and then I add this um, Eat Clean Meal Prep Thai Yellow Curry. I add this shit to everything. It's so fucking good. But this is my lunch. I probably will have, um, an apple a little bit later. Um, I don't wanna show you every single thing because I wanna leave enough time in the vlog for all the really fun stuff, but this is what it looks like. It really looks good, actually. So that is my lunch. Super fucking low carb, but please remember I will be having carbs at dinner and then carbs all weekend long. You just wait and see. So I'm gonna eat this and I will update you a little bit later. All right, so we are on the way to eat Thai. It is his birthday weekend and eat Thai is probably one of your Ooh, favorite favorite, favorite oh, yeah. restaurants, like favorite like kind of casual place. Yeah. And so the last thing you saw was my very low carb lunch and that was, I don't remember what time, I forget, but after that, I a little a couple a little after that, I had a triangle of chocolate. It's like a little Trader Joe's triangle of chocolate with a caramel inside. I was like really wanting chocolate, so I had one triangle of that. And then a little after that, I had my greens drink and a turkey beef stick. And that was it. Um, I got really busy. I was on a phone call with a client for a little over an hour. So I just didn't, I wasn't able to eat. Um, but I just drank a lot of water and I am definitely hungry right now, but not like crazy, crazy fat famished. Um, just definitely hungry though. It is 6.50 and we are on the way to dinner. And a big piece of advice for you if you are going out to eat is to look at the menu ahead of time. So we've gone to this restaurant probably 50 times by now so like I have the menu memorized and I know exactly what I want to get I am gonna get the skinny pad Thai so I know because I had such a low carb day today I wanted to order a meal that was higher in carbs and I love pad Thai so much and I really love the pad Thai here at the restaurant that we're going to because it is a skinny pad Thai and he makes it with no oil whatsoever Ever. So that is amazing. So I know that I'm having very low fat but high carb and I get it with chicken. Um, and then I'm also going to get an appetizer, my very favorite appetizer. It is the tuna ceviche um, with these like fish chips. And I have put it on my YouTube before. Not sure if you've watched that vlog or not, but I will show you again. So I'm going to start dinner off with just really super clean protein, but it is so good. It's my favorite ceviche. Like, I've ever had. I'm sorry, it keeps going blurry. It just, with like the lights, the street lights and stuff, the camera I feel like is just being weird, so just bear with me. But, so that is gonna be the appetizer, just to get more protein in, because I know that my protein has been seriously lacking today. And then, to make sure I am eating enough today, I wanna get the pad thai, because I know my body needs carbs after eating pretty fucking low carb today. So biggest piece of advice when going out to eat is look at the menu ahead of time so you know, okay, am I having a carb heavy meal? Am I having a fat heavy meal? And then you can determine that and then base the rest of your meals before and after around that. 
so that's pretty much it. I will show you at Eat Thai once we get our food. I'm so excited. <laughs> It is the next day, Saturday, March 9th, and I'm just gonna show you my little breakfast because I wanna show you what I eat and what I do today to prepare for our birthday festivities for the um, end of the night. So I did F45 this morning and I just got home and this little, this is just kind of like a leftover, like whatever was in my fridge. I have butternut squash, I have Japanese sweet potatoes, uh, shredded Brussels sprouts and mushrooms in there as well. Not too, too many carbs in here. I only had maybe like four or five little chunks of potato and then butternut squash and then the Brussels for some fiber and veggies. And now I just have one cup of egg whites here. And this is gonna be my breakfast. Oh, and as soon as I got home, I did have one of my little breakfast bites. I was gonna have one before F45, but I totally forgot them. So I just had one as soon as I got home, just for some extra carbs, really fast digesting, really great fuel. And then I'm gonna have this. It is 9.50, and we are going to start eating and drinking wine around four o'clock. We're gonna go to like a little wine bar, so I will show you that, but I am gonna put the camera down so I can cook my egg whites. I will see you guys later for my lunch. <laughs> What do you, do? <laughs> you guess you gotta open it. Let me take care of your breakfast over here. I guess you can open it after, but look at this birthday boy. He's making, this is what I live with you guys. So when you tell me, man, I can't follow my diet because my husband eats unhealthy. <laughs> uh, I woke up to, I woke up to Pad Thai open on the counter. And now he's making the most delicious looking fucking breakfast sandwich. And oh, on a bagel, might I add with what, two eggs? Three, yes. three whole eggs. Two. Three, two whole eggs, cheese, four slices of bacon, and then two everything. Slices. Well, three. Uh, slices. Three slices of bacon. And about. every, yeah, so give me your excuses and tell me what your family Can eats because I, I got you beat. I actually nice. customized this. No way. This is a 110 bottle, dollar <laughs> bottle. <laughs> Oh, You're crazy. 110. It's only made in 19 batches, so you can only get. This is awesome, babe. Oh my god. What is that? Tell the vlog. All right, so it's these moonshine. are little smoky, old smoky moonshines. I thought it'd be fun for a little barbecue. This is awesome, babe. You're the best. I customized it. What is this? We're barbecuing tomorrow. Oh my god, some barbecue sauce. Ah, oh, some stone. Oh, nice. What are they? They're stones, like for your whiskey to keep it cold. Oh, they look cool. Yeah, you put these in the freezer and then you put them in your drink. He's a big, like, he loves bourbon whiskey. Bourbon whiskey? Whiskey yes. bourbon? I don't know how to say it because I can't drink it. Ooh, it's a lighter. I don't know. You should just keep on looking and see what that has to do with. I'm trying. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, nice glasses. Thank you did awesome. Where did you make this from? It's called brobaskets.com. What a cool <laughs> business idea. I know, and it comes in this really cool crate too, which I thought was nice. Wow, I'm sorry I opened it up the wrong way. It's okay. <laughs> These are awesome, babe. B for Brian. Got a nice flask, I love it. Some nutter butters, can never go wrong. What else can this go? Oh, no way. Did you not get me some cigars? 
How cool. Hey, you're so freaking awesome. I thought babe. it would be perfect for our barbecue tomorrow. It will be. You're and the, the best. cutter, the cigar cutter. This is freaking awesome. Isn't that a nice great case? Great idea. I know. I thought it was Thank really Thank you fun. so much. I, Ray, I am having a little repeat of yesterday's lunch once again because I really just have to eat this egg white salad and I don't want to throw it away and this bell pepper was going bad. And today is the day of leftovers, so it is like 12.45. I'm gonna eat this, jump in the shower. I have a little hair appointment for like a hair wash and a blowout to get this keratin treatment out of my hair. And then we're gonna come home and come probably get ready to head out. Come see us. Brian wants me to show you what goes on behind the scenes that you guys don't see. <laughs> Mooney. Oh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat, I'm hungry. We are about to head out to our first destination of the night. We are going to a wine bar called The Blind Monk in West Palm Beach. And then we are gonna go to dinner after that at a restaurant called Table 27. But you saw my lunch, my little egg white salad in a bell pepper. And I really haven't eaten much since then. I got ready, I got my hair blown out. Um, so I did split a Revival by Jack cookie these amazing cookies uh, they are huge cookies all natural we split the brownie one and for one cookie it's 260 calories 14 fat 25 carb 10 protein so i had about 100 and i mean i honestly gave brian a big i had like i would say a third of the cookie um, just because I, the ingredients to those cookies are all all natural, um, no butter. Um, you, they, she uses coconut oil, so really, really good ingredients. I feel good about eating, and I wanted to get a little bit of healthy fat anyway because my diet so far today has been like very low fat. And then after I got my hair blown out, I just snacked on a couple of these Skinny Pop mini rice cakes, and I'm good to go. I'm not hungry. I've been drinking a ton of water. Um, I kept it pretty low fat today because I knew we were going to a wine bar and we are going to be getting like a cheese and meat platter where I mean cheese and, and cured meats are high in fat so I wanted to really try to save as much fat for dinner as I can and fat is the highest calorie macro so I want to make sure my calories are lower during the day because I will be eating higher calorie in the evening and we're going to a wine bar and wine I usually track as like a carb um, so overall I've just like really tried to prioritize protein over everything today we're gonna head out I will show you what we get at the blind monk for our first little stop of the night look at you hunky That's so cute we are at the Blind Monk in West Palm Beach. So cute. We are gonna order some meats and cheeses. We're gonna need a small plate for now. And we're gonna talk to him about what cheeses and meats that we're gonna get, but I will show you. Here is our little cheese and meat. We got a truffle soft cheese. We got a hard cheese from Spain. We have um, candied figs, and then we have duck prosciutto. And then I asked for some gluten-free crackers, but we are gonna dig in and enjoy this wine. This stuff with cheese, like, it's so good. It's good? Take a bite. It doesn't seem like regular bread. There is cheese baked inside the bread, and it's gluten-free. Gluten-free cheese bread. That's my kind of bread right there. And I have, we both have a Cabernet. I have a Cabernet Foley, Cabernet from California. Brian has a Cabernet from where? Chile. From Chile. Very good. 
We just ordered octopus and squash blossoms. All right, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. We have squash blossoms here, and we also have calamari. Or no, not calamari, octopus. Yep. Kind of calamari. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It's hard to see in here, but this is the calamari, really nice and big. And then we have oh fuck, we have octopus. I'm sorry, octopus, and then uh, potatoes right here. We are gonna dig in because it smells so good. Really, really great portion too. All right, now we have some braised short rib tacos, even though it they're so stuffed. It doesn't even look like tacos, but here's a little taco. And then we have a crab cake here with like a jalapeno aioli. Yum! So good, oh my god. I got a smirking. <laughs> Brian's laughing at me because my meal is so small. I saw your I saw your reaction. I just felt like you felt it as small. He got a filet mignon with whipped mashed potatoes. I got shrimp, scallops, a carrot puree, and asparagus. Aw oh, baby, happy birthday. Make a wish. Yeah, we're still going. Huh? We're still going. <laughs> Talk about all good. We did not order dessert because we are too full, but they gave us a small piece of bread pudding. And Brian is so full. Is it good? Bread pudding confuses me. It's like bread. Like I like chocolate, not bread. I screwed up by taking a bite with the mint. Oh. Oh, okay. How is it, baby? One bite? No. Not one little bite? I'm dead ass so full. I How really. Do feel? I don't care. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. You have to eat it, babe. It's, if we didn't. It's three. We didn't order it. I can't let it go to waste. Is it yummy? I'm tell you. I'm so full, it hurts. You just ain't a real foodie. I'm not a real foodie. I taught you everything you know. I mean. Being a foodie has nothing to do with saying no to free dessert. You guys, this is what I deal with. I'm ready to go to bed. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, and I am ready. We started at 4. We started at 4, and it is 7 o'clock on the dot. Three hours of eating and drinking. I think we did good. So you guys, I'm gonna see you tomorrow for our at-home barbecue for his real birthday. Did you have a good day? Oh, He's struggling. <laughs> it hurts right now. It hurts. I love you. Love you. So pre-workout, I am going in with the fat burning pre-workout from one up. We are going to a F45 class and it is like a weight lifting, a weight lifting day. So I really want to make sure I have a good pre-workout and I'm doing not a full scoop, but almost because it is very strong and I did have a cup of coffee. And then for after my workout, I want to use these collagen peptides. And now these collagen peptides actually have 18 grams of protein. It is all grass-fed organic protein. And what collagen peptides does, it is packed with protein and amino acids, healthy hair and skin, and it supports healthy joints and bones. So it actually has the full spectrum of amino acids which is absolutely amazing so i want to have this post workout because of the protein and this is the first day that i'm taking it i'm just doing one full scoop and even though it does have amino acids in here i am going to add another scoop of my vegan bcs i love the vegan line of bcs because it is has no artificial sweetener um, it is all 100% organic, nothing fake, no dyes, no colors, and it is just sweetened with stevia. So I'm just gonna do one scoop of that because you can't have too many amino acids. You just kind of pee out what you don't use. And I want to make sure to give the collagen peptides some flavor because the collagen peptides is unflavored. And it is Saturday. Nope, it is Sunday. 
<laughs> Brian's official birthday. Happy Woo! birthday, babe. Thanks, babe. Happy birthday. Um, March 10th, Brian's birthday. We had such a good time last night. The blind monk was absolutely incredible. Um, with the wine and the cheese. And then table 26. Whew, absolutely amazing. It definitely was expensive. Um, I think a little overpriced to be 100% honest. Like, you know, the crab cake appetizer that like, you know, it was delicious. One of the best crab cakes I've ever had. Um, but you know, it was like $25 for not a huge, huge one crab cake. I mean, you guys saw the pic, you saw the video of it. Um, so, I mean, 25 bucks for an appetizer of a crab cake. I'm like, it's a little high, but I pay for good food and you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, we had a really, really great time. <laughs> this is not a joke. We actually were out sleeping, like fell asleep before nine o'clock. You know how we know? How do we, cause we had, well you had a missed call. We woke up and we're at, guess what time it is? It's midnight. midnight. <laughs> oh my God. We wo I woke up and I needed water. Um, and I would look at the time and it was 11.45 or like 11.30. The TV was still on, Brian was sleeping. I went in the kitchen, got some water, played with Luna a little bit cause she did not want to like simmer down. Um, and then I woke Brian up and I was like, Brian, <laughs> it's, it's, I said it's noon and that means midnight because this happens all the time where we fall asleep very early and he actually likes it when i wake him up i love it he likes it when i wake him up when i wake up like that so i woke him up and i was like babe it's midnight it's noon it's like the night's still going oh my god so funny he's like oh my god i have a missed call for at like nine o'clock or something so funny so that was her night um and i actually slept until eight so i got a good like 10 hours 11 hours of sleep because i did wake up and you know we you know we were up a little bit in the middle of the night but so i'm i feel rested i feel i feel absolutely incredible i feel amazing um i am going to go to an f45 workout i planned out my meals and my grocery list in my rise up journal and i'm actually going to record a second vlog today um, and do like kind of two vlogs in one for today and I'm gonna do a grocery haul and how I meal prep for intuitive eating and then later on in this week I'm going to do a video of me tracking my macros a full day of eating tracking my macros so I kind of want to show you my grocery haul and my meal prep for that video so you kind of understand how I cooked what I will be eating when I do whatever day I choose to track my macros yeah um, so this is I guess like a physique update after our dinner last night it's kind of hard to show you but I'm not bloated not anything I am just normal it doesn't have to be oh, abs it doesn't have to be an all-or-nothing thing when you go out to eat um, we drink wine and everything so like maybe yes I'm holding on to some water but I mean it's like not a, just you know normal um you know we did go to sleep early so i we did we stopped eating around like 6 45 so it's been a little while um i drank a ton of water i just had three glasses of wine and i mean you saw that what i ate so and i ate i ate very you know on this little side the small side um during the day I was just kind of running around and emptying out the fridge of all, any leftovers, but it was a very good night, very balanced. We did not order dessert. Brian just had his little mini thing that they brought over, which was so nice. I couldn't fit another thing. And we came home, watched a little bit of TV. We're watching right now The Order. It's a Netflix um, original series or whatever. Um, so yeah, just really balanced. And today we're gonna have like an at home little cookout. So I will show you a little bit later when we start like grilling and we're gonna go to Fresh Market and probably get some like kebabs and um, he loves to grill wings and he has some new barbecue sauce to play with. So we'll probably do that. Um, so I will keep you guys updated and I will see you in a couple hours for our little barbecue for Brian's birthday. Hey babe. Hey, sweetie. All right. We got 
Lots of stuff on the grill for Brian's birthday. We got chicken, chicken wings, and a filet mignon skewer. That is what is for dinner. We are outside. It's beautiful out. We are drinking a little. I have some tequila here. We're also playing cards. Beautiful day. Hey, Luna. Baby girl. Do you want to come and say hello? Hi. Hey, baby. I love you. You having a good time? Best day ever. Brian kind of charred the wings a no, little bit. Look at them. Grill them. master look at them. general. They look great, don't they? Don't look at the ones on the grill. Look at don't, the ones in the. Don't look at the black. <laughs> no, just look. This is what happens when Christina doesn't look fucking take pot. over. Just look in the bowl. Ooh, those See, are this all is, this perfect. Is, don't this they is look the perfect definition right of Instagram fakeness. <laughs> when people, that's that's just fucking Check putting on your good side. wings, guys. How, putting on your good side. Just for how the, to cook wings for with the Brian two. Sullivan. Yeah, don't look follow Brian. If you saw this picture, you'd be like, damn, he knows how to cook wings. Yeah, but we don't we don't follow thoughts. They're gonna be good though. <laughs> We don't follow They're fake bitches cool. up in here. Check them out. They're going to be good. Blackened. Everyone likes blackened. Just shut your mouth. Just kidding. Love you. Hey guys, just popping in to close out this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed watching my weekend and learning how I have balance and I eat out and just seeing the weekend spent with Brian to celebrate his birthday. Let me know, please. This is gonna help me a ton. If you like seeing my weekend stuff or eating out or just seeing more of like my personal life, stuff that you don't see on Instagram possibly, that kind of thing. If you like that, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that this type of video is something that you guys like. It really does help me out a lot. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, definitely go check me out at Xtina Sullivan. You're gonna see a lot of recipes, food motivation, a lot of business talk, a lot of just growth, um, and that kind of thing. But I will see you guys later on this week for a meal prep video and then I am going to be also doing a full day of eating while tracking my macros for the first time since last May. So that should be interesting to see where my calories are at and what I'm actually eating. So I'm gonna do that later on this week so stay tuned. Uh, hit that little bell to get notified every time I come out with a video because the next two videos you are not gonna want to miss. I love you guys and I will see you soon.